Do you want to make your video with text from this to this by using CapCut? Today I'd like to show you step by step. Let's jump in. Now we have this video in the CapCut. We should overlay the video on the first frame. Then continuously zoom in and move the video position until the white sky covers the entire frame or the text. Next, select the mask and choose the circle one. If you don't see the circular mask in the frame, try moving around the screen a bit. Adjust the mask to an elliptical shape and find a suitable position within the white sky to use as a cover. You can choose a position close to the text, but avoid selecting the text itself. After creating the mask, adjust its position to cover the text properly. To make the entire frame more harmonious, adjust the mask feathering value for a smoother edge transition. Let's preview it. Looks great. If you're confused by the above steps, you can try Hitpo Watermark Remover to automatically remove text. The software link is in the description, and you'll reach an installation tutorial page just follow the steps. It's very easy. Once you launch the app and import your video, it will automatically analyze your video and highlight the text with a yellow box, allowing you to choose from various watermark removal modes. Let's check them one by one. I think the AI model is the best option, as it works well for most watermark removals. The other modes can be chosen based on your video's needs. Smooth filling mode is most effective when the watermark is similar in texture to the background and does not cover a large area. Gaussian blur reduces the visibility of watermarks by decreasing the contrast of the text or graphics typically contained within the watermark. Color filling mode is suitable for situations where the watermark is small and the background is uniform with minimal color variations. The matte filling mode is used to eliminate watermarks by creating a mask that matches the shape of the watermark and then filling the watermark area with a selected color or texture. For this video, I still prefer a model. It's great indeed. After finish export settings, export your video. And that's all for today's video. If you found this video useful, please subscribe our channel. See you next.